Welcome to the Spinner Rack with your hosts, Brian and Junior. So, welcome to the Spinner Rack, issue 19. We're going to discuss Marvel's Age of Ultron. You can tell how, we're ex- how excited we are for this. Age of Ultron. Well, whose idea was it? It was one of your fucking ideas. It was my idea. Okay, there you go. Well, hey man, it's, you know, the Spinner Rack. We talk about comics, right? Yeah. When we're not... Talking about other shit, but it's not a comic. It's like 50 50 every other day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a crapshoot. It is about 50%. <laughs> it's like, like, 50% of the comic show, there's 50% of our comics, 50% like, of our everything else. 50% of the time, we podcast talk about, about, about shit. Comics. Mm-hmm. And, and we stuff. We talk about comics half the time. It's like buying a bag of chips, <laughs> half full. You know, you buy half of the damn air. Right? Or, or it's like knowing that the air is in there. Get a bag of Doritos and none of them have any shit on, but then you get that one. It's like everything that's the mega one on that one. Like the bag of Cool Ranch, none of it tastes like Cool Ranch, but you get that one that's got so much fucking Cool Ranch shit on it. Like, you're done, you're like, like right now, folks, 50% of the time we talk about pointless shit. Totally. That's not pointless shit, that's a useless fact. It is a useless fact. Moving forward, Marvel's Age of Ultron uh, event crossover. No, not really a crossover because they had tie in the uh, 10 issue series. The big payoff, which I think was ridiculous, it was in the dumb. fact that they announced it ahead of time. Said it was supposed to be a surprise, but yet they announced it. I don't get it. And then they shipped it in a black poly bag. I don't understand it. They're, they want to be that Superman. Which was the uh, the Angela thing. Which I think is really gay is that instead of like how previous books have been poly bagged, like Death of Johnny Storm, mm-hmm. and the poly bags had variants in them, but you had to open the poly bag to find the variant. Right. Which was fucking stupid. <laughs> what the fuck was that? He, he does one of these. And it's not like, if I got a burger or something, what the fuck? <laughs> He's trying to tell you something for later. Nice. This is like, <laughs> I know that smell. <laughs> Anyhow. Anyway, I gotta say, I find it lame that the, that the black body bags are, are labeled. The variant, such, yeah. and such this variant, such and this, that. It's like, Come on, What's man. the point? Yeah. What is the point? But then again, it was kind of like a dickhead move <coughs> for, like, for instance, the Johnny Storm one. Well, we are talking about Marvel now. You know, like there was well, a couple that were actually autographed. Yeah. You know, oh, you got to open them all up. You order four hundred, open them all up, then what? And then another autograph. Who gives a fuck? Go find them at a convention and get it autographed there. For reals. You know. Get the fucking gonna... poly bag autographed, fuck. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know, I just don't get it. Okay. They said they're bringing Angela to Marvel. They bring her over to Marvel and uh, issue ten, the polybagged issue. Why polybag it if you are and like okay, I get it. Sometimes the cover is very revealing, and that's what you don't want to reveal. I have yeah. a black polybag. Yeah, but when you revealed but it already a month earlier, more than that, and then the pages are so top secret, nobody knows what's going on. They don't need Joe Quesada to draw it. <coughs> but you announce the thing. It's like hey, we're bringing Angela from Spawn. <laughs> well, it would have been a real cool a fucking kick in the nuts to McFarlane if they would have left the Spawn earrings on Angela. Yeah. That'd have been cool. That'd have like eat it, McFarlane. And he'd be like, I got more balls than Brian. <laughs> you know what I mean. No, yes. you ever heard of the Todd McFarlane ball story? No. Where uh was it McGuire? Yeah. Who was in auto home runs? So every like you know how McGuire was breaking all these records, mm-hmm. McFarlane was going out and buying those baseballs. Yeah. And he had this massive fucking home run baseball collection. And he was taking it on tour. Okay, and then what? Somebody beat his record or something. So all of a sudden, all the fucking balls were priceless, or not priceless. Worthless. You said worthless. 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 It's the Beanie Babies. Yeah, it's the Beanie yeah, Babies. The Beanie Baby boom. Yeah, I, I see. You saw his post. I saw a bit of it. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing. It's like okay, I don't get. And the storyline fucking sucked. What did it set up? To me, storyline oh, totally sucked. To me, it was too apocalyptic. <coughs> that really they were was. trying to say not. It was an excuse to bring Angela in. But what they were trying to do was, okay, we broke the, the time travel, okay, wait, space-time wait, continuum. Here's my question, right? Wasn't this written three fucking years ago? Something like that. Something like that. So it's funny been, because I just so explained this. They've been this. sitting on this absolutely horrific <laughs> shitstorm of a fucking story for three years. You remember the guy that was in here when you walked in? The yeah. customer? I actually had to explain Age of Ultron to him earlier. He asked me. I explained the whole fucking thing to him. He just kind of had that look. He goes... So, DC, right? They're doing this. And I'm just like, yeah, DC, let's go to DC. <laughs> it's like, yeah, read 20, go buy Forever Evil. It will be less of a shitty clusterfuck than Age of Ultron. Well, as you say now, <laughs> Forever e- Evil will be the best shit ever. You uh, apparently have not read very many comics. Yeah, seriously. You've. No. Hey, you say it now. Just, who knows? 
let me ask you something. I'm sure you're sure you right. You're a Jeff Johns guy. Have you read Jeff Johns' original run of Teen Titans, early 2000s? Yes, I have the first trade. Okay, just checking. What did you think of that? <laughs> that, that was actually awesome. fucking awesome. Did you read Infinite Crisis? I have not. That was all right. What? Infinite Crisis just was all right. right. It was all just right. right. Just all right. Yeah, motherfucker, it was all right. <laughs> <laughs> It was awesome. It was all right. Identity was a crisis fucking was masterpiece, better. man. Identity, Identity crisis. Identity crisis. Identity crisis I own every cover, and then I went out and got the hardcover as well. Yeah, I got the hardcover. I think I got the autograph. But did you read Identity Crisis? Actually, now I'm gonna sit here and fucking awesome. grill you on oh, fucking yeah. story. Yeah, we didn't even talk right. about Age Girls. It's just grill John Day. <laughs> No, thank you. Come on. We'll say I that. almost said, "Welcome to Comics Remix." Because I'm feeling like David Sanchez. We'll, we'll go ahead. Foot off. That'll John be its own crazy. podcast. We'll sit there and just grill John. That'll be issue twenty-four. Grill John. Right. You know, John. Did you read this? John. Did you read that? John, John's read on this? the Bobby. Yeah. No. No, I just caught that late. No. <laughs> you grow on the yeah. So basically, the point of Ultron, Age of Ultron, was to say what? You broke the space-time continuum. I think so. Was that was what that now? What it was? Yeah, I think that was the point. Yeah, and to make Hank, Hank Pym look like he's a cool guy. Well, does currently yeah. any other title, other than like Hunger or like a tie into it, A One, AI, AI, yeah, AI, A One. I'm fucking. Uh, I was about. <laughs> 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 I mean, just say <laughs> nothing that is a tie. Is anything else doing something that involves a space time continuum? That's not that does not have the AI banner under it. No, isn't like in yes. every every Fantastic what? Four what? issue? Yeah, like, wait, what? yes. Wait, you're saying is there any other book produced by Marvel currently dealing with time? No, dealing with the after effects because like yeah, d- yeah. Still not of Age of Ultron, no, not including the A one. That's it. Then what's the fucking point? That's it. To it's end so the fun. Ultimate Universe, I don't know. It was, Ultimate Universe didn't even and do if you that really shit. Think about it. Age of Ultron was a story between Wolverine and Hank Pym. That is it. That is absolutely it. You never read it. Right? I Side haven't read it. It was horrible. It was the hor- worst fucking setup for a story ever. Instead of like giving you how things went to shit, everything's just just fucked. goes just goes to crap. Go. It's go. It's go time. This is everything. I'm explaining to you the same way I explained it to that one dude earlier. It starts like you said. It starts off. You're in this apocalyptic world that's ruled by Ultron. You find out Ultron is ruling this world from somewhere in the future through all his droids and stuff like this. So there's only a handful of heroes left. They all meet up and find out that Nick Fury's still alive, the original Nick Fury, the white guy. Hasn't this story been done before? Or Everything's old, been done. I would say Old Man Logan and just... So they, they meet up with Fury. Fury old actually Man has Logan's one of Doctor Doom's uh, uh, time machines. <coughs> they take a vote. Let's go to the future and kick Ultron's ass so that way we can preserve the present. Whereas Wolverine's just like, well, why not just go to the fucking past and kill Hank Pym before he invents Ultron? Done. They're like, well, no, you can't kill Hank Pym, you know? He's yeah, and then it's like, well, let's go back and tell him not to create Ultron. Yeah. Well, then this is just going to incite him to do it, to create Ultron. You're going to give him the drive to do it by telling him not to do it. Yeah, I, like, like I said, so I've heard these stories before. It's, you know, it's everybody like goes, Krang or... So everybody goes to the future. Wolverine's like, well, I'm going to the past. Fuck them. They don't run me. And so he goes to the past. Yeah, Invisible Woman tags along. They go to the past. He ends up killing Hank Pym. Come back to the present time. The world has changed. It's ruled by magic now instead of science. Everything is fucked. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine confesses what he's done. It's so like Age of Apocalypse all over again. He didn't read Age of Apocalypse. That one I read. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, everything's screwed. Wolverine confesses to killing Hank Pym in the past. They're like, oh, you're the asshole that did it. Okay, well, how about we just invent a virus that will prevent Ultron from uh, upgrading himself constantly. It'll destroy him from the inside when he tries to upgrade so they take this virus, Wolverine goes back in time again, stops his other self from killing Hank Pym and says, you know what, no, we're going to give Hank Pym this virus to install when he creates Ultron. We're going to give Hank Pym some, some herpes. Pretty much. <laughs> so they go ahead and leave it at it as it is. He creates Vision, everything happens, he creates Ultron, and at that point in time, whenever the fuck it happened, the Ultron decided that he was going to take over. Like you saw at the very beginning of Age of Ultron, how the world was into shit already. The virus kicks in, and before Ultron can counter it, it keeps up. The virus keeps upgrading itself, eventually wiping Ultron out, making everything hunky dory. That was old Age of Ultron. But then when they get when the time thing sets all right, and they get back to the present, that it's revealed that 
by time traveling so fucking much over the years, they, they screwed up the space time continuum. That's pretty much broken. No, that's kind of like you know every Fantastic Four uh, issue going well, back and forth. Right. That was Age of Ultron. Right. Fantastic Four is currently time traveling. Right. Yeah. Way. But they've always been. Yeah. Well, they're not yeah. time traveling. They're uh. Well, they're I, they're I thought traveling. they were all they're jumping to like realities. Okay. Time traveling. Yeah. Um. The only the only Julius two, Caesar and Ben Franklin. Yeah, that's true. The only thing that spun out of Age of Ultron was the Hunger miniseries that just released. Basically, like there's a, a tear in the sky in the Ultimate Universe and. The regular Marvel Universe Galactus is like, ooh, new world, me eat. And then and the Ultimate Universe Galactus becomes his herald. Yeah. Okay. I'm so glad I don't read some of this stuff. Yeah, and then <laughs> the very, like, the last three pages that were so top secret just has, in space, you see, like, some weird salamander looking thing. And Angela's writing it, and she's just like, you know, oh, somebody's demanded my attention from the heavens, and I gotta find out what's going on, and that's it. That's so absolutely it. That was Age of Ultron. Okay. Damn. Ten issues of crap. Your it was a this, not- this is how horrible Age of Ultron <laughs> is. When people die, they die shitty. Like Black Panther falls and breaks his neck. <laughs> and you not. There's an explosion. It's like it's Black Panther. Black Panther, Panther falls, neck. breaks his neck. <laughs> so yeah, it is Black Panther. Yeah, I mean, I could understand it if it was like Aunt May. Okay, yeah, she's fragile. She fell. She broke her neck. Shit happens. You know, this is the fucking <laughs> king of Wakanda. Oops. I slipped on a banana peel. <laughs> Captain America gets decapitated. Yeah. Well, that's okay. It was kind of awesome. Yeah, it's moments. No. Like, once again, so, so do you need to go back and read Old Man Logan to kind of wash the taste, of, you know, the, the, the reading of uh, yeah, totally. Age of Ultron? Because it was horrible. It was just, I mean, it started off really sucked, right? And then, the and then middle, it continued. It got better. Did you read it all? Oh, uh, yeah. Did really you feel that it got better in the middle a little? Not you at didn't? all. I felt like it was getting better. Not at and all. And then it just went. That's how I felt the whole time. It just I mean, sucked. For me, it was just read the first issue. You know what you was better than Marvel and, and DC put together right now? Fucking Worlds Collide, Archie comic books. Hell yeah. Mega Man and Sonic That's the Hedgehog. That's fucking awesome right now. Believe it or not, that crossover 12 parts is better than fucking Age of Ultron. Jesus. <laughs> I'm at chapter like 9 or something. I have all of them. You gotta be fucking joking. I swear to God. <laughs> it. Wow. You ever read a Sonic the Hedgehog comic? Did... No. God. Yeah, no. They're not great. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, it's but just, I don't know, for some reason, the way the storyline is going up, you know, if you're a fan of the games, it makes sense. But regardless, it's better than Age of Ultron. Yep. Not to shit on Archie Comics. No. <coughs> Every comic has their audience, you know? Mm-hmm. It's not like My Little Pony is what you're saying. Uh, don't give me Age any of episodes. Ultron was a steaming pile of rhino turd. It was. It was. And that just proves that Brian Michael Bendis really does suck. He really does suck. Oh, I knew that ahead of time. <sighs> Remember the set, uh, when they relaunched Moon Knight? Yeah, no, I didn't bother with that. See, and that was the thing, because Bendis and Alex Maleev were such a great team together on Daredevil. Remember that? So it's when they outed the Matt Murdock and all that yeah, stuff? Yeah. That was like one of the best Daredevil stories I had read in a long fucking time. And then they came out and they both did Moon Knight, and Moon Knight was canceled, but like 11 issues. They didn't even go to 12. They went to 11 issues. Like, no, we can't go to one extra. We can't. And they canceled it. But it, you know what? I, in his defense, though, I will say all new X Men is really fucking good. It is really good. It is. He's he's Grant Morrison, dude. It's like this is a no, gem. I've never this liked Grant Morrison. Shit. Come on, Batman and stuff was awesome. It's all right. Oh, failed to mention that during the fucking San Diego Comic Con fucking announcements. Batman and Son animated, from DC animated. See, I didn't know that. Oh, I, I heard about that. Yeah. We haven't gone over all the San Diego stuff yet. That's going to be next episode, I believe. And then they're, uh, next. they're doing uh, Arkham Attacks. or Arkham War. Some kind of shit that's going to be based off of the video games. I'm Which, sure. Whatever. I don't really care about that either. So how do you think Age of Ultron should have happened? <laughs> I would have liked the classic setup, dude. I'd have liked to have, you know, here's the fucking reason... Here's where it goes. Here's the end. Instead of like, bam, everything's fucked. You've got the Red Hulk, and I don't even fucking remember who he was with. Taskmaster. Yeah. And somebody else. They were in Chicago. And, yeah. What the fuck are they doing in Chicago? Mm-hmm. Then you got Black Widow with half a face and Moon Knight. Yeah. It was horrible. The only thing I will give Age of Ultron is the tie-in issues they did. Instead of just like being your normal shit tie-ins that just expand upon a scene that was in 
the main book. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Infinite Crisis did a lot of that, but yeah. I kind of appreciated it because a lot of those scenes needed to be expanded upon Infinite mm-hmm. Crisis. They went back and said, okay, this is how this got here. This is how mm-hmm. this got here. Most of them were really good. <clears throat> the exception, Superior Spider-Man. One of my biggest gripes of Age of Ultron is that you can immediately fucking tell that it's not Otto Octavius. First of all, costume, wrong. Mm-hmm. Wrong. If you sat on this shit for two years, why couldn't you digitally remove Spider-Man or at least tweak his costume to make it look like it currently does? Even though they said it was Dr. Octopus. Yeah. They're like, it's like, and that was the whole fucking Superior Spider-Man. What was it? 9 AU? 6 AU. It was 6, it six, six AU. Whatever. Yeah. They spend this whole issue trying to pound down your throat that this isn't Peter Parker. It's Ock. And the reason you think he sounds like Parker from the Age of Ultron main store, main book is because he's trying to pretend to be Parker because no one knows. But it sucked. It was just fucking suck. No, I agree. What about you? The rest what do you think? Really good, though. Where I, I think, to me, it would have been better if Ultron just said, fuck it, I'm going to take over all the technology on the planet, does it, Avengers try and stop it, doesn't work, and they're like, okay, now we have to result to magic, bring in Angela, she comes in, Kills fucking Ultron. There you go. That would have been a better use of An- Angela instead of if she just shows up and it's like, oh, I'm pissed. Well, she'll be out again next week, Guardians 5. Yeah. See where that goes. I wouldn't be surprised if they took it as far as putting her in a, in a cameo in the movie. I really wouldn't. <laughs> I could see them doing that shit. At the end, at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy, post credits scene, you just see, the, you see space, just light heaven. I, I seriously would not be surprised if they just made a cameo. Dude, even in the original Spawn movie, she was in the movie as a cameo. Did you guys catch that? Where it was like the, the dinner or whatever? That's another one I blocked out. Yeah, it, totally. it was like a dinner I can't remember. or whatever, and they, they had all these people in the mansion, and then they just show a redhead with the Spawn earrings walking through the crowd. No, cool. no, I don't remember that one. Yeah. The only saving grace of that movie is the there dude was that played no saving fucking, grace. The dude that played Cogliostro plays fucking oh, yeah. Merlin and yeah. Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is, this is two episodes in a row I mentioned Excalibur. <laughs> All right, so obviously with Age of Ultron being such a shitstorm, it was bad, man. It was just bad. You've got it to was worse than Sharknado. You see that? This is not funny because you had not seen it. I don't give a yeah, it doesn't apply because Sharknado is going to become like one of those cult, cult, cult classics, classics. Yeah. <laughs> where Age of Ultron is going to be this turd story that people talk about in twenty years. And you know how Sharknado is going to be a cult classic because we're fucking talking about it. And not saying that we're going to not saying that we're going to be like, oh, we're the reason, but I mean, just the fact that we're talking about it. But with a shitstorm, you always talk about Age of Ultron. No one. <laughs> we are. No one. Yeah. Well. We, okay. Well, with Age of Ultron being so, you may not want to put that on the header of the. <laughs> of, uh, what? That just whenever you, I don't know about you guys. Whenever I watch a really really bad movie with an actor I really really like, it tends to make me want to watch one of my favorite movies with that actor. So with that being said, with Age of Ultron being so crappy, what do you think? What event would you go back and read to be like? You know what? This is how an event should be. Marvel wise, we're not going DC, yeah. so we're sticking with Marvel. You have to come back, man. I have to think for a minute. In your young eighteen years of life, um, the I'm three crossovers you've read. I'm trying to think of that. The one where the one guy punches the other guy. <laughs> uh, fuck. Is it the one where Alpha and Heathcliff teamed up? What? Did Never you say Alpha and Heathcliff. Alpha. Oh. oh, I'm from Planet Mermic. I need to eat cat. He was ahead of his time, sl- slang wise. I eat the cat, yo. I'm I'm probably, you know what? Fuck it. I'd probably just say Secret Invasion because that was actually one of the only ones I fully read. Favorite Marvel event of all time? Marvel event of all time? I like I said. I like the bad guys. I still got to go with the um, either Thunderbolt or Dark Rain. I, I just loved it when the bad guys win. I did like Dark Rain. That was fucking awesome. People are going to hate me for this, but kiss my ass, dude. The, not the original, but the 90s Clone Saga. And oh, fuck. Was that the Spider-Man? Yep. Yeah. I just didn't read it. Where they had like a million Spider-Man Fair clones and Ben Riley and it's I'm not looking at it storyline wise. It's a toss of to try to read. <laughs> it is and it isn't. I, I didn't have a problem reading it. This I was reading the, that shit as it was coming out. I was, I was ordering my comics from East Coast Comics. I would see that the ad in the fucking comic book. Like, what? Brand new issue, only 97 cents. Mom, can I make a money order? <laughs> Send that shit out to New Jersey. A week and a half later, the mailman was asking me for my ID to deliver my package. Word. My answer is going to show you how fucking far shaken my faith 
in Marvel to actually write good shit has been. The one, <laughs> the one crossover, that one event that happened. It was the uh, Amazing Wars. Fantasy. I was just gonna say, he's gonna say Secret Wars. Secret Wars. That was good. I love Secret Wars. That's good. Everything fucking since then has been fucking rubbish. Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> House of M sucked the dick. <laughs> Secret fucking invasion sucked the dick. Siege sucked the dick. <laughs> Civil War sucked the dick. It's all just Brian Michael bending this jizz fest on his face. <laughs> Suck. Didn't like Dark Rain, huh? God. <laughs> <laughs> How do you really feel, dude? I, I do. Dude, come on. He wait knows. a minute. I didn't. You got. You, wait. You said everything since Secret uh, Secret War. Give him credit. Uh, Age of Apocalypse. Come on. But Age of Apocalypse was good. I almost said Age of Apocalypse, but. Then I remembered that Fatal Attraction The clusterfuck that they made Age of Apocalypse into Maximum Carnage (sighs) Looking back at Maximum Carnage I reread it a while back Craven's Last Hunt That That was That was actually (laughs) very good It was fucking excellent (laughs) Looking back though I I read Maximum Carnage Not too long ago The story wasn't the greatest But if you read between the lines Of what they were trying to do Dude it was the story of Good versus evil Light versus dark If you really really sat and read it You're like holy crap Dude, that was like my first really Marvel event. I mean, I read Secret Wars and like, everything, but like just reading it as it came out. Honestly, no bullshit. House of M's were my fucking descent, like my just dislike of Marvel began. I thought House of M was an epic failure. It was a twisted version of Age of Apocalypse. And, and it was. And a lot of House of M's failure lied into the tie-in miniseries. They did these great tie-in miniseries that didn't really tie in. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, we're going to do this fucking Frightful Four book, and it's Doctor Doom and the Fantastic Four. It was fucking awesome. Yeah, it was. But then the shit that happens in the book has no implications on the main storyline. None. Yep. None. What the fuck? It's horrible. Word. Suck. And then Civil War just fucking... Iron Man, dude, one of my favorite fucking characters till Civil War. And then they made him a douche. Yeah. Massive fucking douche. <laughs> and then they ruined Spider-Man. <laughs> And it just shit balls. You know what? No, no, no. Kept going. In my opinion, Spider Man was ruined with Stras- 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 The other. Before that. Well, yeah, no, it was that one. Issue other. 30, his first Spider Man issue. It was right? one the they Campbell did the cover. Yeah. yeah, that was so fucking horrible. Did like, you ever read that? Which one was that one? The other. <laughs> yeah, when he came out with the organic web shooter no. and the movie. And it was Totems. No. Yeah, and it was. It turns out Peter was bit by the spider, not by mistake. It was meant to happen because over the centuries. Over I the might years, have read something along those lines. That's why, spider gods. That's why all his totem. villains are fucking animals. Yeah, yeah I did read something like that. Totems. I was like, whatever. That was stupid. Fucking crap. <laughs> that was fucking stupid. Fucking Straczynski, man. Well, and then there was. His war run was good, though. Yeah, Thor right now is awesome. Yeah, it is. That's gonna be a great. That's gonna be like the one podcast where we don't sit here and shitstorm the fucking title. You know what? That you gotta remember though. Like Jason Aaron when he first came on the scene, everybody was talking. Me, everybody was talking about him like great. Yeah, he's not hardly ever mentioned anymore. And that's the fucking problem. You write a really really good book, they don't mention you. You write the shit is when you get talked about. Brian K. Vaughn the saga. Oh, I blame great society. Great book. Can't wait. To see that great book. If you haven't read it, you need to read the it. graphic novel. Yeah, I did read. I read. There's all, how many are there? I've only read the first. The, the first the one. one that was good. Out. Actually, last time we recorded, the second one just came out. Yeah. It, well, they start shit because they're on a hiatus. Uh, issue Which thirteen sucks. comes out next month. Yeah, that was fun. That was a good book. Lord of the Rings meets Star Wars. That's why I tell people. And yeah. then some. TVs have a sex. <laughs> it is. Turn yeah, my knobs. That was, that was definitely. I'll fix your antenna. For reals. Word. That's All like right, the so 18th time you said word, dude. Jiggle in the rabbit ears. Sentence. 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 He's like saying word too much, so sentence. Yeah. sentence. Paragraph. Mm. Motherfucker, competition <laughs> for English class. <laughs> Morning journal. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> so anyway, Age of Ultron, bottom line, it sucked. Don't read it. Don't bother with it. There's no point. Like I, It was horrible. I don't see what they're trying to accomplish. I you know, know. It's, that's what I don't understand about Bendis is he's been the the composer of most of this shit. He's been Marvel's guy since uh, since House of M. Before that, when he launched New Avengers, what was he doing? That like, was I, that was after New Avengers launched after House of M. No. Yeah. The original New Avengers, where the cover was like all purple and it had their faces like in the shadow, and Spider Man first joined the team, and that's yeah, that when the was, breakout at the raft happened. That was, that was such a great story, though. That was before. House of M. No, I mean it was after House of M, wasn't no, it? No, it was not. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. Okay. 
That we'll, was get, we'll get back to you on the next that was, issue. I'll, I'll take your word for that. That was Bendis' first big thing. No, New Avengers... The reason he did House of M was because of how his Avengers was running. No, fuck you, you're wrong. New Avengers came after House of M because he did Avengers Disassembled. I was just going to say that. You're absolutely right. It came after. Suck. 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 Everything's all perfect and awesome, but Wolverine remembers everything and is still an unhappy cunt. <laughs> it's like Age of, uh, Age of Apocalypse. Well, Age of Apocalypse made more sense with Bishop remembering everything because he's from the future. Yeah, he's, yeah totally. <laughs> so that shit was awesome, dude. Awesome. That was the best <laughs> Legion quest. The Legion Quest line. was good. Four chapter book. If you never read Legion, Legion Quest, Legion Quest is awesome. Dude. You need to read that book. Like what th- this shit they're doing with X Men. Like it was X Men issue forty and forty one. I was about to say Legion Quest sounds like it's a DC book. It sounds like it's like thing right after Legion Lost. No, it's the lead in to Age of Apocalypse. Age of Apocalypse. It's a four issue arc, basically where they bring back Legion, and he's just like, dude, you know, my dad's trying to help the world. Magneto keeps fucking with him. He's like, Mag- well, wasn't he's for Magneto. He's also pissed off that it's like daddy issues, really. Yeah. How I remember it. Yeah. Because he's angry that his dad never spent the time with him he could have because the whole time he's been trying to fucking stop Magneto. Yeah. So he goes back in time. So basically, he blames Magneto. Yeah. To he kill he- Magneto and accidentally kills Xavier. And then Age of Apocalypse. Yep. Okay. It's fucking man. great. Just to see the different versions, you know? You're like, holy Dude, shit. that's like, when X-Men was great, man, in the 90s. Mag- that's when Magneto and Rogue were wow, first. Wow, really? Movie. Yeah, totally. I-, I have a lot of love for the fucking X-Men 90s. I, I know where he's going with this. As soon uh, as you said that, the Burn Claremont so much stuff. stuff. Yeah, totally, dude. That's not shitting on that. But, I mean, that's we're talking somewhere that John can remember. He was born in 95. Yeah. So... He, he, <laughs> I think it was before John's <laughs> time. Well, actually, no. Age of Ultron came out in 95. What, dude? Age of Ultron. I'm sorry. I was about to say, Age of yeah, Apocalypse. Age of Ultron's right there on the rack, dude. Age of dude. Apocalypse, mm-hmm. sorry. Yeah, Age of Apocalypse, dude. Dude, they even had action figures. Awesome. I know they had action figures. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Gambit and the externals. That was cool. I love the animosity because Magneto and Rogue were together for the, officially for the first time. And since Gambit was the ex-lover or whatever, Magneto knew that he, and, uh, he wanted something with Rogue. He always kind of kept Gambit at arm's length. Like, nah, motherfucker. Stay back. It was good. Colossus and fucking Shadow Cat. That was crazy. I remember when Colossus killed her by mistake. Wolverine and Jean Grey. A one-handed Wolverine. Because him and Cyclops got in a fight. <coughs> he cut out Cyclops' eyes. Cyclops, Cyclops, like Cyclops blew eye. off his hand. Stop! <laughs> Cyclops and Havoc are like sons of uh, Sinister. Sinister. It's awesome, dude. Dude, it was great, it was man. awesome. Oh, that's, that's how you fucking write a series. <laughs> and it Not wasn't just... just and the funny yeah. thing was, it was, the main story was in Legion Quest, Okay. Then the first chapter was in X-Men Alpha. It was a one-shot book that introduced you to this new world. After that, everything else, every title became this new title. Like, mm-hmm. X-Men became, what, Amazing X-Men? Yeah. For four issues, was issue one, two, three, four. Every book had four issues. Whatever X-Book was being published stopped at the moment. And the way they did it, if you read, like, if you were reading X-Force at the moment, the last, no, bullshit, Wolverine issue 90 was supposed to be the big throwdown between Wolverine and Sabretooth. I remember I had a fucking gatefold cover and shit. <laughs> At the end of that issue, Wolverine fucking snaps on Sabretooth finally, pins him against the wall, puts the claws to his jaw, brings out these two, and he's just like, just fucking give me a reason. And Sabretooth is talking shit. As soon as Wolverine pops the fucking claw on the Sabretooth, they turn into like crystal ice, and that's when because Legion fucked everything up. Every X title ended that way. Right before the, the uh, they relaunched, so to speak, into the Age of Apocalypse thing, every issue ended with everybody getting crystallized. The next thing you know, Age of Apocalypse. It's kind of like the whiteout for yeah, yeah. For House of M. Pretty much, yeah. It was fucking great. <coughs> you know they made Age of Apocalypse what omnibus? Yeah. Like they fucking. I might even buy it yes. just because I don't want to dig out all those separate. And here's issues. the problem with that is they've went back and many years later added shit that just sucks. Yeah. And detracts from the greatness that was Age of Apocalypse. It's like oh let's revisit this and make it shitty. But the point that I was trying to get at before I actually trailed off was you you had the one shot that started it, okay? Like, after everybody crystallized, you had the one shot. Then from the one shot, excuse me, it went into the, the every title's respective four-issue run. Mm-hmm. And then every fourth issue ended this. Like, it all tied together. They mentioned what was going on in this book. They mentioned what was going on in that book. Every fourth issue, you're like, oh, shit, to be concluded in X-Men Omega. Another one shot. That came out, Magneto ripped Apocalypse in half, literally just whoosh, split him down the fucking middle. 
Then from there, Wait, are you sure Alpha and Omega weren't onslaught? No, that was X Men uh, uh, Age of Apocalypse. Age of Apocalypse. Trust me. All right. Remember X Men Alpha had Wolverine running. That was like the, he was in the main picture. Then it had the, the back cover was part of the art and it had Apocalypse like in the sky. And then Omega had Magneto fight. It was I just, by John Romita Jr. Similar for that for for, for uh, onslaught also. X uh, onslaught X Men onslaught Marvel Universe. Okay, that's what it was. Right. Um, Correct. Right. My bad. So no, every fourth issue you're like, okay, to be continued, X Men Omega. You get to X Men Omega, it's the big throwdown. The bombs go off, and then you see the whiteout. Then after the whiteout, you read X Men Prime, which was the one shot that re- restarted the X Men universe. Like they just kind of woke up from this fucking dream that they had and shit, and it just like continued. It was just so fucking seamless, man. I miss. Yeah, now like we that. got Age of Ultron. <laughs> yeah. And Forever Evil. Whatever. At least Crisis on Infinite Earths was like. Fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was that's why I like the the Spidey '90s Clone Saga because <clears throat> it was what two years that it took to finish this fucking storyline. Like it was four titles a month plus Spider-Man Unlimited and any other one shots. And if you really think about it, the story continued when Peter and uh, Mary when Mary Jane got pregnant. They went off to go live in uh, what is it? Where did they fucking go? Oregon, yeah, Portland. Know. When they moved to Portland. <laughs> And Ben Riley took over. <laughs> that was a great look. He was like, eh. <laughs> they took over, or Pen- Ben Riley took over in the new suit. All of that was still Clone Saga, if you really think about it. it. Took two years to fucking tell this story. That's a lot of dedication. Not just because I'm going to tell the story, but it's just like it's like a lot of dedication to a character everyone hated. Ben Riley, yeah. It's but then you deal. notice after they fucking killed him, <laughs> dude, the original Scarlet Spider is like one of the best fucking outfits. They bring back Ben Riley, and yeah, motherfucking fans are so fickle. They are. Say they that totally five times fast. You're fans too. We're all fans. I know. Yeah, but I've never fucking wanted someone to die and then clamored for them to come back. Now, I might have changed my opinion once they returned, like Jason Todd. When they brought him back, I was pissed. I was so pissed. I was like, fuck Judd Winnick. He's an asshole. Then it turns out Judd Winnick is like one of the best writers that he has. And then I went back and read that story, and it was like, and then to tie it in with the whole with the, the Lazarus Superboy, death. Superboy Prime fucking beating on the walls of reality is mm-hmm. the reason that Jason Todd wakes up from his grave. Like, they just seamlessly tied it in. The Lazarus Pit is the new shit. Okay. The no, she put in the Lazarus no, Pit because the Lazarus she's, like, yeah. retarded. Yeah, he came back. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. fucked in the head. Right. And she, then she puts him in the Lazarus Pit. Okay. And that's a clusterfuck now, dude. Red Hood and the Outlaws. This is going everywhere. It sucks. It just sucks. It's all this weird, mystical bullshit. I, that, I can't read new comics anymore. It's it hard, sucks. man. It is hard. To go back and just fucking read some of the old shit again. Superior Spider-Man and Flash. So like the fucking most consistently good reads. I, I have to. I actually like, like I said, like the new Hulk has been a fun the run. New Hulk has been. It's a fun run. It's not I had to skip a couple issues. Anything Mark Wade writes, I read. Except mm. Steed Hulk and Mrs. Peel. Hulk has been good. It has been awesome. Except for what? Awesome Steed and Mrs. Peel. The hell is that? It's the original Jeez. Avengers. God of Thunder is the best fucking Thor I've read since Walt Simonson, dude. Back in the days when they brought, they created Beta, Beta Ray. Ray Bill. Beta Ray Bill. Okay. This is where this is where your age shows. Totes. Hey, just wait. You're a youngin. That's why you like secret invasion. I forgot what it's called so much because I fucking think it sucks. But anyway, I guess that wraps up our Age of Ultron discussion. That was in the discussion. Slash that slash was, tangent. Like, that was, that was a bash. Bash. Yeah, It was like ten tangent. minutes of Age of Ultron is a piece of shit. <laughs> now let's talk about real fucking storylines. Pretty much. Totally. So that's <laughs> this this you, episode is. Full of awkward silence. I'm confused now. Is this issue 19? Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, remember it's 1G? 1G? Yeah, 1G, yes, dude. 1G. I'm telling you when I post this, look, it's going to be 1G. It's a fucking 9, motherfucker. That looked like a G. You it's can't a, deny it's, it. It's, 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 it's like everything is a fucking G. It's up here, and then the 9 it's is down here. I checked it, yo. It's a 9. Well, change the font. That font is ugly. What's wrong with the font? It looks it fucking makes the 9 look like Gs. Man, I'm just going to fucking rip ass in your general direction right now. Nick Fury protect. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelled of elderberries. <laughs> this is a story. <laughs> the Thank you. Me. Let me guess. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Way, way, way before the last game. Animal House. Python. Yeah, dude. Python. 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 Yeah, oh, don't grail. pretend you fucking know everything. I do know that <laughs> one. <laughs> that What's one. It's on t-shirts. It's on t-shirts. Where have you been? I wear shit like this. Yeah, Jim Lee's stupid man. Herp. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> this has been the Spinner Rack issue 19 <laughs> for the third time. I'm going to try and sign this a bitch out. <laughs> Our discussion of Age of Ultron and other various storylines. We're going to have to change the title of this now just to fit that in there. <laughs> as always, I'm your host, Big B. Brian Adams. Joining me as usual. Uh, Junior. <laughs> Carrie. Just, he's just not with us today. And the kid that apparently doesn't know a lot about comic books, John. Not apparent. It's true. It's not apparent. It's <laughs> fact. It's a fact, motherfucker. Facts of life. <laughs>